everyone, I'm Sarah Idu, and I'm here with Jackie Rose, the co-founder, president, and publisher of Buzz Around. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Jackie, if you don't mind just giving us a little bit of a background of what Buzz Around is. Sure. Um, thanks for having me here. Of course. So Buzz Around is all good news. Mm -hmm. It's what's happening in the communities to make it a better place to live. It's what the nonprofits, the civic organizations, the um, grassroots organizations are mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. with their volunteer time. You know, yeah. all of our communities, we all have people that spend time volunteering, dedicating mm -hmm. time <clears throat> to, to do projects and they enrich our lives. And so we support that by letting everybody know what they're doing mm -hmm and what they can do to help. Perfect. So Buzz Around, is this only in um, Brockton or is it in the South Shore area? Like where do you guys? Where are we? Yes, where are you guys located? Um, we have seven hives. Wow. That's what we call them, seven <laughs> hives. They're hives. We started in East Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. um, it is an email newsletter, mm -hmm. uh, a news sharing source. We do a lot on our website as well. So. Uh, we started in East Bridgewater with 100 subscribers 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, as a response, we didn't have a newspaper in town. People wanted to be connected. It was before any, you know, social media was yeah. big. Yep. And how do we get these news out? How do we? So there were three of us mm -hmm. that um, Sharon Graves, Teresa McNulty, and myself mm -hmm. that were like, hey, we want to help out our community. Um, we want to let people know and so we started it and it wasn't long like four months mm -hmm. when somebody came to us and said how do I advertise yeah it was just an email newsletter and I'm like advertise oh good because I needed a job <laughs> right um, I was an out-of-work reporter <laughs> at that time and it was like yeah let's let's make a newsletter um, and then we started to launch in other towns. We launched in Halifax, we oh. launched in uh, Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. So now we have seven, which are Bridgewater, Brockton, mm -hmm. East Bridgewater, Halifax, Rainham, West Bridgewater, and Whitman. Wow. Yeah. And is this a weekly publication? Do you? Yeah. A weekly yeah. publication? So each week. Um, we spend the week networking with people, yeah. um, emailing over and contacting them over social media mm -hmm. and finding out you know what's going on what do you need us to post mm -hmm. and we compile it all together um, over constant contact oh, yeah. and we send it out every Sunday morning like the funny mm -hmm. papers <laughs> and you yeah. said that you've um, been publishing for 13 years how many subscribers would you say you have now right we now? have um, 14,700 Amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So 3,000 of those are mm -hmm. in Brockton, mm -hmm. which we've been here a couple of years. We yeah. launched 2020. <laughs> that was my COVID crazy. Mm -hmm. was like, Brockton needs us. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> we need to be talking about the good things that Brockton's mm -hmm. doing because there's so many beautiful things going on in the city. Yeah. And so we just started to publish but we're always you know obviously looking for more subscribers and subscription is free mm -hmm. and free. yeah and mm -hmm. we're looking for you know the stories mm -hmm. yeah. and so i know oh, that and advertisers <laughs> and Adver looking for advertisers. And advertisers and i know that um you had mentioned that it's important that to get a positive um sorry i'm gonna start that over um i know that it's important Okay. <laughs> you had mentioned before that it's important to you that you get positive news out. Um, I know that in the past for local news stations, it was always negative or, you know, violence. Would you say that that is like the huge inspiration to why you started Buzz Around? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah it was, you know, we can only carry so much mm -hmm. as a human being. Mm -hmm. We can only carry so much bad news. Mm -hmm. Um, and there were a few different things that I saw happening within mm -hmm. my community. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw, you know, I was just in, I was raising my children in East Bridgewater right. and they were teenagers and I saw, you know, elderly people that had a, a bad impression 
mm. of teenagers because they didn't understand them. And that's not the first time that happened, <laughs> obviously. Like, it's a whole different language and what's going on. Mm -hmm. But um, but the same thing was happening. The same thing happened, you're talking about bad news, is that if that's all you hear, then that's what you think yeah. is going on around you, yeah. right? Um, if you think that the next generation is all disrespectful and doesn't have any good ideas and isn't, doesn't care about their future, then you're going to be scared of them. Right. Right. And, and so that was, was the initiating factor is that I saw this miscommunication between genders, mm -hmm. uh, generations. There's always miscommunication <laughs> between genders, but, <laughs> but I, that I can't help. <laughs> but um, between generations that I can't that we can help we can help by sharing positive stories um, and and it worked you know uh, and people started seeing oh you know we want to you want to work on a community garden yeah these guys want to too and everybody right. was working on it together so we were collecting energy around positive projects right by letting people know about it because you know people would do things if they knew what to do they were aware of what was happening in if, their in their city in there and and that is where we have the most power yeah right is our neighborhood mm -hmm. that's where we have the most say about what's going on we know more about what's going on internationally mm -hmm. about e even at the state level you know all that news is accessible to us yeah um Thank you for the hard work you do here at Cable, um, but people have a difficult time finding what it is that, that's going on in their neighborhood. That's true. So that's why we do what we do, to let people know this is what's going on in their neighborhood. And, and we do put in videos that you've done. <laughs> you make great content. Thank you, I appreciate that. I know that you've been, um, publishing for 13 years. In those 13 years, what would you say are some of the obstacles that you guys have had? Well, um, I've been really intently focused on our relationships with the, with the nonprofits, mm -hmm. with the civic organization. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, and because I'm the driving force and, and sole salesperson yep. at this point, the obstacle has been finances, mm -hmm. right? The obstacle has been, are we creating enough money to live off of? Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, you know, until we grew enough to have the numbers support mm -hmm. us too, you know, that was hard. But, but I did do it. I raised my kids. I, I raised four kids, four boys. Um, Congrats. Wonderful. <laughs> Children, uh, men, young men now. And, um, was able to do the buzz around while doing all that, mm -hmm. you know, was able to like write these stories. And, and so as a mom, the flexibility mm -hmm. of that was, was beautiful, you know, being able to do that. And then once uh, they went off to college and became young men and I was able to focus on it full time. So it's only been five years now, I think that I was able to focus on it just Full time, like this is my job. Yeah, and you've been progressing. You have fifteen thousand subscribers. Very, so very close. Is, I know. I do say. Yeah, it's, it's very. We're very close, to and 15. so we'll get there shortly. Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. So, what's next for Buzz Around? Because you guys are growing. You guys have so many uh, publications weekly, every Sunday. So, what's next? What can we expect next from you? So, my our focus right now mm -hmm. is to build that sales team. Mm -hmm. You know, get more people selling and making a commission off of uh, advertising and, and servicing our uh, small businesses, right? Mm -hmm. Because we all want to support those small businesses. Right. We all know that that's, that's going to help our communities too. Right. Um, and I love that work that I do mm -hmm. um, in being able to support small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, it's doing a better job in Brockton. Yes. Right? Yes. So we have 3,000, which is such a tiny percentage of the 100,000 people you mm -hmm. have here. So we want to do a better job for Brockton. Yeah. Um, and so we're devising a plan to do that. 
Um, and so those are the two main things. I think that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big, those are big tasks. <laughs> yes, but, no. Uh, that's always a huge thing with publication is getting more people to subscribe. Um, what do you, what are you guys, what are your tactics right now in regards to getting more subscribers? Okay, so um, we, you know, before COVID, mm -hmm. um, we like to go to events mm -hmm. and uh, and meet people there right. and actually walk around with the clipboard. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but. That's always the best way to get a subscriber, mm -hmm. you know, that one-on-one, -on -one, even if it's a three-second conversation explaining yeah. what we're doing. I've gone back to town events year mm -hmm. after year in different towns and had people say to me, I remember when I met you. I remember when I signed up for the Buzz Around. <laughs> you, it, we were at such and such a place and you, I gave you my email address and yeah. it always amazed me, just amazed me that people remembered the date like you think about all the things that you sign up for in your life and, <laughs> and give your email address to like why would you remember this yeah. but to me that was a sign you know that was a signal yeah that we were really resonating mm -hmm. with our readers and we do yeah you know we have some of our readers are really 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 involved mm -hmm. in what's going on they're sharing news stories with us making sure that we're covering things they're um you know taking pictures and doing that um but they're also reading you know oh yeah. i heard about you know this author talk at the library mm -hmm. and um i remember actually just the other day somebody told me oh you know what we won a gift certificate to this restaurant it was johnny macaroni's restaurant <laughs> with you and we met this person there mm -hmm. and they gave my daughter a job so she has a job because she won that gift certificate oh from you yeah. and i was like okay <laughs> that face-to-face -face <laughs> interaction definitely makes a difference it does it, a difference. it does and so the more people interact with mm -hmm. these newsletters um with our, our newsletters the the richer they are right the That's more the, the it makes um so it's it's fun yes <laughs> I, I, every single day, I'm just so grateful. Yeah, especially when you're doing something that, that this, you love. Yeah, that this is my job, yeah. right? That this is my job, that I get to talk to people about the mm -hmm. good things that they're doing in their yep. lives and that I get to sm support small businesses mm -hmm. and help them out with their, you know, the challenges they face in mm -hmm. getting their word out. Um, so we, we have, like I said, we have contests, right? You know, which our readers love. Yeah. But then our advertisers love that too because they're getting more people through their door. Mm. So we like to run contact contests and just any way to interact with the community. Any, any way, any way to engage people yeah. positively about what's going on around them. Yeah, because people are always looking, but sometimes it's just where do we look? Right. And right. And really, you know. For a lot of the things mm -hmm. that we are that we are in the newsletter, mm -hmm. you could find them. We right. find them, but we spend all week finding. Them, <laughs> yeah. Right. So instead of a person going, okay, well, I'm going to search this mm -hmm. and I'm going to search that feed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay attention to here and pay attention to there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just open up your email on Sunday morning, and, and it's all right all there. there for you. So it's a time saver right. for anybody to be, you know, wanting to be engaged in their community. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you for Buzz Around. Well, thank you for thank having you. me. Yeah, of course. Thank you for um, just putting out the positive news because all of the South Shore, we really need that. So thank you. Our, we, we, we have you in our heart at BCA, the co-founder, president, and publisher for Buzz Around, Jackie Rose. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>